insulted by Grim Reaper. Wow. You have reached a new low when you get insulted by the Grim Reaper. Let's fight him. Hello and welcome back to my homeless nightmare legacy. Today, Ashley will become an adult, which means a whole array of problems and issues will be on her table to solve. Ashley wonders if that feed a bite interaction has something to do with the infant update. That is actually a very good point and I did not think of that. But she also goes on to say, Ashley's true aspiration is to get with every NPC. You know what, she has made her way around, but with us being on a short lifespan, maybe we should go ahead and make a decision on who she wants to be with. So let's get into that. All right, so I think we really have three strong contenders on the table for who she could possibly end up with. Contender number one is Gideon, who also happens to be the father of our toddler. Now, looking at him, we are broken up and we had terrible dates with him. We have some very, very bad sentiments with him. We have a kid with him. We have not told him about that kid. I don't think things are going to work out with Gideon. Number two on the table is Kevin. So we have a crush on Kevin. We have gone on a few dates with him and he always usually calls us back. We didn't go on the last date with him because we were hanging out with Jimmy Shallows and having a baby. So, you know, we were a little tied up. But with him being so persistent, that puts him as a very good chance. However, we don't know anything about him. Like, we don't know any of his traits or anything. So we definitely need to find out more about him. And last but not least is Amy. Now, we do not have a very high relationship with Amy, but we are enemies with her mom. We messed around with Amy when we first met her in the shower at the high school. That kind of got off to a pretty big start with fireworks. She's also a kleptomaniac and mean, so Ashley and Amy can really work together, but we are also resentful about no prom invite. So I think between Amy and Kevin, we have our work cut out for us trying to decide who we should end up with. And even though we are dead tired, we are going to go and find out a little bit about Kevin. We will just bring Micah along and we're going to go check out Kevin's house. Oh, wow. Kevin's family is huge. A fire has started nearby. We literally just got here. How is there already a fire? Well, this is not how you want to meet your potential future in-laws. Everyone stands around and watches her burn. No one's gonna get the extinguisher. I mean, I could click on her and extinguish her, but I mean, come on, the drama that ensues. Like, man, what kind of attention seekers are these people? They set themselves on fire so they don't have to meet their, their son's potential girlfriend. And <laughs> we're just gonna stand and watch her burn. Okay, no one's gonna put her out. Okay, no, for real. I, I, feel, I feel like this should be a thing in The Sims where you put out another Sim that is on fire. Oh my gosh, she's actually gonna burn. Okay, no, 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 I gotta come and extinguish this. Don't worry, I'll save you, I guess. Random homeless person on the way. Come on, extinguisher. No, why did you stop? Is, is she okay? Okay. All right, she's good now. Well, that's certainly made life interesting. Downplay stress, yes. Yes, let's do it, downplay her stress. Like, I know you almost burnt alive, but like, come on, get over it. Okay, well, that was uh, that was an interesting little time. Oh my gosh, Micah is sleeping in the doorway. Oh, but he looks so cute, doesn't he? Okay, well, while Micah sleeps, I guess we can find Kevin and get to know him a little bit. Kevin, Kevin, where are you, buddy? There he is, and who is this? She has the same name as Kevin, but these people don't have the same name is Kevin. You know what? I'm gonna do some snooping. We're gonna go into Manage Worlds and take a look at their family tree. We we need we, we, we need to see what's up here. Okay, so let's look at Kevin's family tree because then we can like see how all these people are related to him. Uh, no. No one is related to Kevin. Kevin has a daughter? Okay. Um, that changes some things. So he has a, a daughter, a child. Wow. He's romantic, family oriented, and socially awkward. Okay. Well, I think we can kind of rule Kevin out for our potential romantic spouse. Kevin's family oriented. He's gonna want more kids. I don't see Ashley wanting more kids and I don't think she can handle a stepkid right now. Okay, so wow, that vetting process, uh, it, it definitely took a minute there. I think the fairest thing we can do with Kevin, oh, apparently we need to apologize to him. I kind of feel like we should maybe apologize to him after. Just saying. I think the fairest thing we can do to Kevin is ask him to just be friends. I mean, they could have been so sweet together though. But no, I, I I think this is best. I don't think we would be the kind of person Kevin would want. Oh, why is Micah angry? Oh, he has no attention and he's tired. Well, Micah, just like sleep on the floor or something. Oh, he is mad. Oh, and our friendship took a big hit too. Oh, he is, oh, he is probably heartbroken. Ashley and Kevin have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. I mean, I really genuinely think it's for the best. Maybe maybe one day he'll grow to forgive us. Oh, and apparently we're gonna yell at him now. His reaction was not warranted, so we're yelling at him. Okay, well, that leaves one potential romantic partner for us. And this takes us to the home of our enemy. Oh, and our potential romantic partner apparently is not here right now. Well, that's interesting. Oh, and there's another little 
toddler for Micah to play with. There you go, Micah. This works out fine for you. All right, let's see. There's our there's our enemy. Oh, she's still mad. Try to calm down. Like, no, no, we're not calming anyone down. I would like to see Amy. This they have a they have a basement. They have a basement gym. Wow. Okay. Oh, we have the mess around and shower option again. Yes, we're taking it because apparently that's what Amy and I do. We mess around in showers together. Can I just say she turned out so freaking cute? And here we go to the shower while our toddler naps in the doorway again. Like Micah, why are you napping in the doorway? I don't understand. Whatever. We got other things we got to focus on, like woohooing in showers. Woohoo! Go wow wow. There we go. We're just we're just going for it. I mean, we're just meant to be like that, I guess. You know what? Let's ask her on a date. Why are you walking all the way down here to ask her on a date? What is there some rule you have to be in the basement to ask her on a date? I don't get it. Feel like this is a long way to go to ask her on a date. Okay, so where do we want to go on a date to? I don't want to go to this park because it glitched out the last time we went there on a date. You know what? Let's come to this park over here in my Shuno Meadows. We can hang out and see how they click. And of course, we're bringing the toddler on the date, but he will be left to his own device. All right, so we need to sit and talk with her. So let's come over here under the gazebo. Oh, we can kiss her already. Oh, all right. Maybe we brighten her day. Tell joke about monkeys. Monkeys are always funny. Let's exchange numbers. Embrace her. Oh, she likes comedy. Awesome. We like comedy. Like, I really kind of feel like these two were meant to be together. Wowee, that sim is irresistible. Ashley has a major crush on Amy. Well, gosh, I would hope so at this point. Reveal crush. Yes, I think we should absolutely tell her. All right, we need to tell her some more jokes. Oaks. Wonderful. We're getting closer. Let's kiss her. Offer her a rose. All right. We need to have some deep conversations with her. And I agree. We need to really kind of get to know her. All right. Deep conversation. Okay. They are like getting along really, really well. So this is going really well for her. Oh, and she got tired and fell asleep. What does it say about you when your date falls asleep on your date? All right, we need to give her a passionate kiss. Unfortunately, I do not see that option. Maybe we can snuggle with her. Sexy pose. Look deeply into eyes. Oh. Oh, I suppose we need to ask if she's single. I suppose we've kind of gotten a far way along here before we, you know, checked the facts. Yes, she is single. Not for long, you're not. Ask to be girlfriend. Yes. Oh, and we finally get the passionate kiss. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you seduce someone. All right, well, we have a significant other now, so that is great. I hope Micah's okay. I think we just kind of forgot about him, and I think he just kind of went to sleep where he landed. Oh, the poor kid. Okay, well, I guess we need to get the baby home. All right, we're gonna end the date, but we have a gold, a gold medal from it, so it all works out perfect. Legendary date, in fact. Oh, Amy's coming to embrace me. Okay, we'll we'll wait on her to embrace me, and then and then we'll get out of here. Oh, they're so freaking cute. I love them. All right, now we really do need to get Micah home, though. Maybe we can take Amy with, though. Kind of let Amy see where we live, kind of thing. Although I don't really know if that's what you'd want to show off. Poor little Micah, you just go on to sleep, okay? You just, you need to sleep. All right, let's ask Amy to stay the night. I'm having a bit of a personal emergency and I have to leave now. Oh, okay, wow, you saw where I lived and you skedaddled. I mean, given this is where we live, I guess I really don't blame her. But okay, let's get a little bit of sleep. I mean, it pretty much is morning time, but we might as well get a little bit of sleep while we can. And Speckles is frozen and is in heat and I'm a little worried about that. Okay, well, we got a little bit of sleep. Let's go ahead and collect our money. Grab our posters for the day. Get what money we can from those. Because if I'm not mistaken, Ashley ages up today. So, I mean, here any minute now, she's going to become an, a young adult. Oh, we're going to have to figure out what kind of career she needs. All right, well, looking at her skills, her highest skills are charisma and mischief. Not to mention she likes mischief. You know what? I'm thinking she's probably going to end up becoming a criminal. I had such high hopes for you, Ashley, to do great things. Things. I suppose in that case, we need to get something to eat. Let's haggle, see if we can get a discount. Oh, and she aged up. She literally aged up before we could even do anything. Okay, awesome. So let's uh, let's hit that randomize button. A slob. You know what? Okay, I can, I can see that. I can understand that. She grew up homeless in a trashed lot. So yeah, I can see how she could become a slob. All right, so she definitely would want to have a defiance one. It's just a matter of which one she would want. Either public enemy or chief of mischief. I don't really know which way she would go. We could maybe kind of go for both of them. Let's go with chief of mischief for right now. We can always come back and get more. Ashley should start thinking about further education. <laughs> She's not gonna get in. You know what? We're gonna need a job. Sprig has led a good life filled with... No, Sprig! No! 
Oh no, Sprig! I was not ready for you to die. You were supposed to live forever. Okay, can I plead for Sprig? Oh, come on, let me plead for Sprig. Please, I'm clicking on Grim and he's not doing anything. Please, let me, let me, oh, I got, I, why won't he let me plead for Sprig? No, can you not plead for your animals? Oh, that is sad. Speckle's reaction to death is great though. You remember what happened the last time you came here or messed with us, right? Oh, I can't plead for Sprig. That is depressing. Micah's over here and doesn't know what's going on. The raccoons are doing their mating call while Sprig is dying. Poor Sprig. Taz is also not happy about the situation. And Sprig is gone. This is sad. This is sad. All right, let's put Sprig in the inventory. Death, uh, oh, now you'll let me talk? Wow. You know what? We may as well go ahead and, uh, you know, make friends with Death since he seems to appear every episode. Can we discuss our fears with Death? You know what? I feel like Death would be a pretty good guy to discuss fears with. Oh, is he mocking me for my underwear? What the heck? Be insulted by Grim Reaper. Wow. You have reached a new low when you get insulted by the Grim Reaper. Wow, death does not like us. Okay, that changed things quick. Although it did get us to be disliked by two sims on our aspiration. You know what? We're gonna make death our enemy. Let's fight him. You know what? That's it. I, I give up. We are fighting death. Okay, I'm sorry. Death should have never come here this many times. He has been here way, way too much. Ashley Mincer is getting into her first fist fight. And it's with death. Okay, come on, Ashley. Look, you no pressure, but you have to wear to win this. This is literally death you're fighting. If you if you if you fail, he might just take you. I'm just saying. I guess poor little Micah here becomes the center of our story and we start this whole homeless adventure all over again. Oh no, death won. Oh, we're doing it again. Come on, Ashley, you got this. Round two, let's go. It's official, when death comes on our lot now, we fight him, whether it's the raccoon or it's us. Somebody's fighting death. Grudge after a fight? Yeah, you know what? I would have a grudge too. Ask what Grim Reaper's problem is? Yes, I kind of want to know what his problem is. He just showed up. Declare enemy. Yes, death is going to be our enemy. Why don't you just leave me alone? I'm furious enough with you already. End of conversation. Well, it's not the end of conversation for us because we're going to make you our enemy. We are now enemy with him. Okay, wow, that was eventful. And he's gone. Yes, finally, about time. Okay, that was eventful. I say we take a little Micah here to get him something to eat. Go tell our favorite adopted family about our new enemy. Here we are. Let's knock on the door. We'll come on in. I wonder if there are any leftovers in the fridge from where we've cooked before. Oh, there is the grilled cheese and the fruit salad is here. Wonderful. Let's get the grilled cheese out. Wonderful. Micah can grab him a little slice of that. Oh, Micah is so sad. Oh, but to be fair, so are we. So let's, let's mourn Gita here for a minute. Like things are just going so rough for us. Sometimes we just need our grandma and our grandma's not here. Maybe we can come give Raj a hug. Oh, we will ask Raj for advice because we probably need some advice. And while we're here, you know what? Let's use the computer to look for a real job. All right, so one of the cool things with the high school years pack is if you don't complete your diploma, certain careers you just can't get into. So like for the detective career, I could not join it if I wanted. Thankfully for us, we're going a bit more of a shady route. Should Ashley switch activities to tough gal, she will quit her current position of fry cook upon accepting a new activity. Uh, yes, I, th I think this is best for her. Quit the fast food employee career. You know what? I, I, that is, a, that is a step up in the world. All right, so we need to do some mischief interactions. Let's just go ahead and do some mischief here with, uh, Raj's wife. Ask her due date, why not? And thankfully we're pretty good. Oh, she does not like mischiefs. So, okay, this may not work well for her. We can lie about our career because I, I don't I don't feel like we would go around saying that we're a criminal. Share conspiracy theory, yes. Oh, we're coming to watch Micah. What are we watching Micah do? Yeah, we, we don't need to watch Micah do anything. We need to be practicing our mischief. Give fake bad news. No, stop it, stop trying to cry. A scare. Her. Boo! Oh, she didn't like it. Oh, yes, she did. She liked it. She's laughing. Okay. Claim to be criminal mastermind. Oh, we got a milestone complete. Awesome. Use a computer to cause mischief three times. I wonder if that will count towards that. So let's see. All right, let's send a chain letter to someone. Uh, how about Eliza Pancakes? Because I, I don't know what's happened to Eliza Pancakes in her life at this point, but she looks like she needs a chain letter. Holy cow, look at Bob! But what, what? These two. Okay, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. The point is they need a chain letter. I never realized you were superstitious enough to actually fall for a chain letter. I never realized you were fancy enough to wear a top hat. I wonder if troll the forms counts. Let's try it. 
Oh, it does count. Complete. All right, well, that's awesome. Micah, why do you sleep on the floor? I don't understand. Oh, you know what? It's probably because that's all he knows, isn't it? Oh, Micah is dirty, though, so we are going to need to give him a bath to wake him up. What is that? What is that green thing under their rug? You know what? I'm probably happier not knowing. Give bath. Get Micah all nice and clean. Reached parenting level one. I'm honestly kind of surprised Ashley reached that. Oh, my gosh. Ashley doesn't go to work for another two days. Thanks. Little Mike is so stinking cute. Okay, but you know what? I think Ashley is finally ready to live in her own house now. So in order for us to do that, we are actually going to go to Manage Worlds and split her away from May and the raccoons. Not that we don't love May and the raccoons, but I mean, come on. All right, here we go. We're going to create a new household. Ashley is moving out on her own. She's taking Micah and she's taking Taz. She's also taking all the money because it is all her money. All right, and let's move them in somewhere. All right, so I kind of feel like she would move in close to Raj. I feel like she would move in in one of these apartments. So let's see, the, the rent on this one is 600 simoleons. The rent on this one is 400 and the rent on that one is 600. So uh, we'll take the 400 one, but first I got to kick that person out. I mean... Sorry, life happens. All right, so obviously we cannot afford it furnished, so we're gonna have to get it completely unfurnished. Pop our little selves in and see what we got here. Don't forget to pay your rent on time. That's something Ashley has never had to experience in her life. All right, here it is. It's empty, but this is our first apartment. Now, I don't think I'm going to leave it like this. I think I'm going to renovate it and make it maybe kind of fit Ashley a little bit better, but we have definitely moved up in the world since we first started this Let's Play. So Ashley has her own apartment. She has a girlfriend. She has a new job. Things are finally starting to come together in Ashley's life. But the big question will be if she can keep it together. That That is the big question there. By the way, happy late Valentine's Day to all my lovely viewers. And if you like Valentine's Day, I actually did a Valentine's Day themed video right here that you can check out. But I will see you guys next time. Bye.